so this next part is about the parts of thinking. And the tricky thing about this test is you're going to have to look on the second page or the third page and see what parts of thinking did Dr. Browning ask me about in my prompt. And so the tricky part of that is you only have to list three parts of thinking, but there's eight total. And so it's, that's kind of tough. It's kind of, kind of weird. So to remember all eight, if you want to remember all eight parts of thinking, which can be useful, I came up with uh, something that works for me. You can think of your own acronym or whatever works. If acronyms don't work, you might not like this. But I think peak, e a uh, pick. <laughs> so I'm going to take a peak, maybe in a pick. Whatever works for you, but peak, e a pick. And you just have to remember that this one is actually a double I. So. For P, the first P, we have purpose. And I kind of like to like create some sort of story for how to remember this. Um, here we have information. So the purpose of this information is to ask the question at issue. Hopefully this is helping. Uh, and then, ooh, double I. What's the double I? Hmm, I can't remember it. I'll come back to that later. I'm going to skip to the next pick. So we have a peak and a pick. So for this pick, for this pick, I'm going to try to remember what point of view is this pick taken from. And the nice part about the pick is the I and the C. The, the I is... Uh, implications and consequences. Implications and consequences, except you need something else for the C. Okay, and the C just has to be some sort of concept that your point of view of your implications and consequences have to be about. So likely this will be enough information to get all those three points, but just in case he asks you about these things, you have to know what the I and the A are for. So I'm going to assume you will remember this. And the double I is going to be inference and I forgot the other one. Uh, interpretation. I need to interpret this. So hopefully that'll help you a little bit, maybe come up with your own acronym. This is just a good way for me to remember it.